how to maintain victory. How to maintain victory. How to maintain victory. The beauty about the scriptures is that it gives us a pattern for everything we need. How to maintain victory. Romans chapter 4 verses 1. It is one thing to receive victory. It is another to maintain victory. Jesus healed someone in the scriptures and warned him that unless he maintained the victory, something worse than that can happen to him. He said to him, sin no more. That word sin is not the commission of sin. That word sin means falling short. When he says sin no more, in other words, your faith has been elevated to a position where you received your victory. Make sure you don't fall short. In other words, if you fall short of where you receive the victory, you will lose your victory. Now remember, it is Jesus warning the man that as much as I've done it to you, as the master, as the Lord, it is your responsibility to maintain. I want to repeat that. That as much as I've done this to you, I am the Lord, I am the Savior, but the victory I've given to you should be maintained by you. Sin no more. You know, no sin no more. Sio kutenda dhambi. Kiswahili kinaita kutenda dhambi. Lakini swala aswa ni usipungue, usipungukiwe na neema na imani iliyokuweka mahali ulipopata baraka. So the word sin no more is that don't fall short. Don't miss the mark. Akikisha hapo penye ulipata hiyo baraka, usiende chini kwa sababu ukipotesa hiyo kiwango utapotesa baraka hiyo. Amen. Amen. Mnaelewa anasema? Yes. Anasema kwamba mahali that frequency kama ulikuwa hapa na ukafuga mpaka mpango ya hapa kama ulipata baraka ya hapa anasema kwamba usirudi chini don't lose that position because if you lose that position you lose the blessing so there is a principle of maintaining the blessings the victory the territory we have achieved in God and Abraham becomes a principle in the book of Romans chapter 4 verses 21 how to maintain victory and uh, I, I will show you some things and, I, and this is this has been a frequency that I've seen over and over in the church we achieve something and we lose it again we achieve victory and we lose it again and we realize we keep on pursuing the same thing again and again you realize the same things keep coming and coming Jesus said an evil spirit was chased out of a man Rome chafu alitolewa kwa mtu akaenda Biblia nasema kwamba akasurura dunia yote hakupata makao akasema waja tuende tuone mali tulitoka wakati walifika wakakuta the house is still empty unoccupied there must be something to fill the gap where God dealt with the problem if you do nothing the probability is that you will go back to the same mess and the Bible says, when he realized the house was empty, clean, swept, he did not occupy. He went back and looked for seven more demons who are worse than him. Na karudi akakaa kwa mawaso maisha ya weo mtu. Na Biblia nasema hali yake ya pili ilikuwa mbaya kuliko hali yake ya kwanza. 
That's why you realize there are people who get to a level where they say, I keep on getting breakthrough and losing, getting breakthrough and losing. And they even get to a, res a resolution. When the prayer doesn't work, that's how Christians become bitter. Things keep on coming back to me over and over. So fully satisfied and assured that God was able and mighty to keep his word. Now remember those words. Habram alishawishika kwamba mungu anawesa na kona wakikisho kwamba atayangalia na kuitimisa. Na kuchunga neno lake. In other words, when God says something, your faith should be God is able and mighty to keep his word. Yes. Do you believe that God answered your prayer from our prayer last week? Yes. Do you believe that God keeps his word? Yes. So your conviction should be if God declared something, it has happened. And there is no amount of a blowing wind or rain or flood or challenges that can change what God said. So he was convinced that God is able to keep his word and to do what he promised. Keep going. He's able to keep and to fulfill what he promised. That is why his faith was credited to him as righteousness right standing with God maintain right standing means maintain the assurance that what God said is settled there is no change of mind God does not take advantage of people but the words it was credit, credited to him were written not for his sake alone I love that him and Elo are equal to Abraham Bekeake but they were written for our sake too. Yeah. Can I hear somebody use your, use your mouth? Yeah. This thing that Abraham was credited as righteousness was not only written and credited to him alone, but it was written for our sake yeah. too. Yeah. Would you want to say amen? Yeah. So that righteousness standing acceptable to God will be granted and credited to us who believe in, trust in, adhere to, and rely on God who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead. Keep going. Who was betrayed and put to death because of our mistakes and was risen to secure our justification our acquaintance toll, making our account balance and absolving us from all guilt before God. Unasikia kwanza vitu alifanya? Ali make our account to what? Balance. In that, ni ya mujui yo balance, ni ya mushiki yo balance. Yes, it was negative. Akai balance vizuri, akasema huna deni, na hakuna mutu atakusumbua. Sema amen, sema amen, sema amen. Account yako imekuwa nini? Balance. Yabu ambia jirani yako account imekuwa balance. Ukiona jirani ya onge ya juyo story ya kubalance yu wa nini? Kama uja wa isifurukwa na hiyo vitu ya nini? Ya nini? Ya nini? Njenyo wengine wa mjawai ya account yu wa hiyo vitu? Wengine wetu tunajua ya account kikuwa balance na manisha nini? But listen. The Bible says... Jesus healed somebody. Okay? When he healed them, according to the book of uh, Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17, you know the story. Luke chapter 17, verses 18. Luke chapter 17, verses, huh? verses 18. Before you go to look, go back to Romans. Go back to Romans again. Go back to Romans. The same scripture. Verses 20. Go back to verses 20. We were in 24. Go back to verses 20. Listen to this. No unbelief or distrust made him waver. For Abraham, human reason for. You understand what that means? Hope being gone. Kibinadamu 
katika hali ya binadamu yeah. alikuwa ameisha he was gone jamaa yeah. kibinadamu kalas kibinadamu ameisha gone hope being gone akukwa na matumaini lolote imeisha sikia hoped in faith that he should become the father of many nations now sikia hali yako haiko imefika kiwango ya hope gone ni mlango ulikuwa natafuta abraham alikuwa amefunga milango he had waited until humanly there was no hope but he believed in faith at that he should become the father of many nations as he had been promised so numberless shall your descendants be go to verses 19 now verses 19 says he did not weaken in faith when he considered the utter impotent of his own body you know what impotence is alipofikiria kwamba uweso wake wa kosa haipo imeisha hakuna matumaini kibinadamu imeisha hakuna sikia watu wa Mungu wengine tunaombewa kupata mke kupata watoto kupata kasi kupata promotion in, in other words bado kuna matumaini ni baraka unataka huyu jamaa hata angeombewa matumaini yake kibinadamu katika hali ya kawaida umeishia lakini sikia it was important of his own body which was as good as dead kwanza ni important alafu ni kama maiti because he was about 100 years old hebu ambie jirani yako important najua hiyo hata neno ni matusi kwa wengine wenu lakini kwa sababu iko kwa bible tuseme tu sema important hiyo ingine ni nini dead na hiyo ingine ni nini 100 years 100 years bado unaomba mtoto ufanyie nini kwanza itatoka wapi yes he was he, kwa miaka hiyo yote alikuwa na uwezo wa kusaa kusaa wakati amekufa hakusaa wakati anafika miaka mia moja hajasaa but he considered god say amen to that he considered god's promise and hope against now there is something called hoping against hope yes yes si juu hata hiyo ni maanisha nini nitatafuta maana yake lakini he hoped against hope when he was as good as a dead man about a hundred years when he was considered when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's dead 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 womb sasa kuna impossibility ngapi imefika nne jamaa ako important jamaa ni maiti amefikisha miaka mia moja na ako na shida ingine kwa nyumba mke wake niulizie jirani yako kama ashafika hiyo hali so the, you have no problem you have no problem the devil is trying to amplify what doesn't exist when god says something he means it and remember the bible says this was not only accounted for him it was also accounted for us too so there is hope I say there is hope. If Abraham could still receive the promise with all the impossibilities. Ile ni ile madaktari wanasema tumejaribu tuwesavyo na tumeachia Mungu. Na Mungu anakuanga mzuri sasa singine anangoja anga hawa wangu. When you can still handle it sometimes he leaves it with you. But he grew but, but what the Bible says uh, no unbelief or distrust made him waver 
doubtingly questioned concerning the promise of God. But he grew strong and was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. Now, oh, yes, I like the noise. You may talk about your Yes, I love that voice. Stop there for a moment. Stop there for a moment. How to maintain victory? Now listen, no unbelief or distrust made him question or waver. Let me ask you a question. If you are told there is no solution, what does hopelessness help to solve the impossibility? That's why the Bible says he hoped against hope. Ukiambiwa akuna kasi. What does desperation help to get your job? Nothing. Nothing. Yes. If you are told you will die, yes. what does meditating on death help you to recover? Nothing. That's exactly how you maintain victory. Yes. Abraham said, even if it is impossible, I would rather hold on to the faithfulness of God than agree with the condition of my deadness. I hear what I'm saying. Because if you believe God in an impossibility, you activate life out of an impossibility. The Bible says by so doing, concerning the promises of God, he began to grow strong. Life came back. Some hope was activated. Let me tell you friends, when a seed wants to grow, it first dies. When it's dead, then it terminates. When you reach your dead end, it's a time to begin afresh. Can I tell you something? There is no impossibility to a man who holds on to God. And the Bible says this did not only happen for him. It happened for us too. And the Bible says, but he grew strong and was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. If you have a Bible, I want you to mark the word as he gave praise to God. As he gave praise praise and glory to God. Say that with me. Has he gave Now, let's go back to where we read I mean, the, the scripture we wanted in the book of in the book of Luke. Was it Luke? I'm sure it was Luke. 17. Look at uh, Luke chapter 17, 18. What does it say? Was there no one found to return? What was the concern of God? Return. The returning. This is where we have a challenge as a church. This is where we have a challenge as Christians. We come for it. We pray for it. We cry for it. We fast for it. We are anointed for it. But when God blesses, answers our prayers, we don't come back. That's how I'm doing. Because you know what? Like we filled this house last week. Yes. I expected us to be double today. Yes. Celebrating our victories. Yes. But you know what? Yes. Ten lepers were healed. Yes. Now yes, very, I mean, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Jesus, interestingly, alipo watuma waende wapone. Alipaki venya aliwaponya. Kasema muende? Yes. Haku toka hapo? Akaka hapo. Haku songa? Akaka hapo. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu baraka ya kwako unapewa lakini itakuwa alali kwako ukirejeshia utukufu mwenye kutoa baraka. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It becomes personal once you give praise and glory to the source of your blessing. Wow. So Jesus waited. How long he waited, I don't know. But he waited. And then in verses 15, it says something like this. Now 
Then one of them, upon noticing that he was cured, turned back, recognizing and thanking and praising God with a loud voice. Ukiona jirani yako ashangilii ni wenye walitoroka hawakurudi. Kumbe tuko wengi. Sikia. One of them alipotambua. Hey. Nimepona. Tamba. What did he do? Recognizing and thanking and praising God with a When he arrived where Jesus was, you know what he did? He fell prostrate. Exactly. He did exactly that. He portrayed himself on the floor. Why? Because <laughs> at Jesus' feet. At whose feet? And then thanking him over and over. Thank you, whoever is doing that. God bless you. Your miracle will remain your miracle as long as you make it part of your daily praises. Mujisayako itabaki mujisawako muradi Kikisha ni sehemu ya sifa sako wa mungu kila siku. You know what? God does everything in and for you for his glory. So ukitumia barakasa kwako kumpa mungu sifa kila siku. You will maintain your victory. Mungu akawaambia wana wa Israeli eh Ninawapeleka inchi ya asali na masiwa lakini ninawaona kitu kimoja nawaona kitu kimoja msiseme ni nguvu yetu ilitupea mali msiseme msiseme mkula mali mfurahie muishi manyumba mkuchenda muoe na kuosa muishi kwa manyumba mkuchenda mmiliki mashamba mkupanda lakini nawaomba kitu moja sifa munipe you enjoy and maintain your victory as long as you keep it as a platform of giving glory to God. When you stop glorifying God for what he has done, you lose it. You can't have both. The blessing and the glory. He praised him over and over. Give me, give, give me the good news. He praised him over and over. How do you maintain your victory? By giving God glory, praise over and over. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, somebody is thinking, so si nitakuwa nikishukuru Mungu kila siku. Kwani hakuna kazi nyingine nitafanya? Swali langu ni hii. Kwa hivyo utafurahia hiyo baraka kila siku. Kwani hakuna kitu kingine utafanya? Kama utahitaji kufurahia hiyo baraka pea Mungu utukufu kwa hiyo baraka. Mungu akikuuliza mtu akikuuliza ni nini? Mwambie Mungu anibariki. Give it give it as a praise to God. When one of 
them saw that he was healed he came back praising God in a loud voice he threw himself to the ground at Jesus' feet and thank him there is only one problem the last part of it the man that's the only problem the man was a Samaritan you know what a Samaritan was then an unbeliever hakuwa muokofu hakuwa muyahudi hakuwa muisraeli alikuwa mtenda jamaa alikuwa nani mtenda hakuwa ndugu hakuwa ndugu hakuwa ndugu hakuwa ndugu alikuwa mtenda haya angalia mstari wa 17 17 inasemaje Jesus said we are not ten healed hata nashanga seriously yes hata wewe unashanga yes wakashanga seriously si niliponya watu 10 si watu 10 walikuwa nalia hapo niliwapata kwa shida now let me tell you something it tells you a picture it gives a picture that in spite of how how much god does always the minority come back majority of the people really remember to come back they do let's let's be let's be candid i want to ask some of you look at your life today some of you the people you married it was never in your wildest dreams some of you your status in the in life right now it was not in your wildest dreams in fact watu wanakuona na wanaona kweli uko na mungu ukiona maisha yako na mali ulitoka ukiona kenye unafurahia na mali ulitoka ukijiona na kuona watu wa ukoo watu wa rika yako watu ambao wako na hali yako you can tell there is something some of you baraka unafurahia kuna watu wako na kisomo na fursa na na, na, na kibali kuliko wewe lakini hawana afurahi baraka ulionayo lakini swali langu ni hii usha atachukua muda kucha kwa Mungu mwambie Mungu serious unajua jamii yangu unajua mali nilitoka kuna watu walikuwa fadhali kuliko mimi lakini umenibariki have you ever taken time to thank god or you are taking for granted that you have what you have because you're good some of you girls you think you're married because you are beautiful listen before before you brag about you are married and try to protect your husband or your wife think about beautiful girls the people who would look better than you who have nothing to show instead of thanking god for his blessings can i tell you something you never enjoy what you don't give thanks for hebu andika tu chini hata kama upendi hiyo statement wacha wengine na wakwasa tayari you never enjoy what you don't give thanks for na kabla hujalalamika tafadhali fikiria watu ambao walikushinda katika kila hali na hawana Kenya huko nayo alikuwa nani msamaria Jesus said we are not ten healed where are the nine Mungu unajua Yesu ni Mungu Mungu anashanga seriously si tuliponya na, na na ali, alikuwa anajiuliza tu peke yake. Hiyo ndio maswali Mungu kwa sababu hapo anaangalia mtu. You know, hizo ndio maswali Mungu anajiulizanga. Sasa hii watu wote niliwaponya. Si niliponya watu kumi Watu tisa wako hapa. Mpaka Mungu anahesabu tisa wajakuja. Can none be found to come seriously? Can none be found to come back? And give glory to God. That's what I wanted. Yes, he says can cannot come to give glory to God. He's saying they are supposed to come and give glory. I'm supposed to take back the report to God. Yes. The glory yes. cannot come back to
to give glory to God. Except this outsider. Now, this is what Jesus was saying. The praises of an outsider will not be accepted by God because the, out, the outsider was not competent to praise God. He was a non-believer. <laughs> So how many people came to give praise? None. None. Who you are the Because I'm going to get to Then he said to him, Because I'm Get up. Wakati Yesu anaongea hiyo viti yote jamaa ko chini akipiga nduru. Glory to God. Thank you. The God of those who didn't come back. Glory to this God. Although I'm not sure whether I qualified or not. But at least Akamwambia inuka baba. On your way your faith has healed and saved you. Your faith has done how many things? Number one, healed. Ugonjwa umefanya nini? Number two, saved. You know what saved means? There is a world of protection around. Wale wengine walipona. Lakini they are not saved. Wewe umesamewa na umetangasiwa ulinsi. Kwa mambo mengine, hiyo pepo Na hii baraka hautawai potesa. Why do we need such? Why do we need to give thanks? Because we have an enemy. We have a thief. Jesus said, do not succumb again to the enemy's territory. Let something more worse happen to you. 